again, Brittany Slays here from Unleash the Archers, uh, back with part two of our track by track um, on Apex. Last time we talked about track one to four, so this time I'd like to talk about tracks five, six, seven, and eight, which are each focusing on one of the matriarch's sons. The matriarch is our antagonist and the immortal is our protagonist who has been tasked with uh, finding these four sons for her so that she can kill them in a ritual to attain immortality. Track five is called The Coward's Way. It's about the first of the matriarch's four sons. He is a politician, or he's a bureaucrat, basically, in um, what could be some kind of political assembly for the Empire. And he is slimy, lying, uh, he always tries to grease his way out of everything, he bribes, he thinks that he can buy his way uh, up the, the ladder, basically, and uh, he's a coward. So when the Immortal shows up to take everything away from him that he has worked so hard for, uh, basically he just falls to his knees and begs for his life and tries to buy the Immortal off, uh, pay for his freedom. Um, so one of the, the reasons why the Matriarch couldn't just send a regular person, uh, one of her advisors or a a soldier or anything to to find her sons is because of things like this. Any regular man would be susceptible to bribery, would be tempted by something like that, and the immortal is forced to serve her, forced um, to do her bidding because it, of the curse, and she has awakened him. He is controlled by her, and so um, the matriarch has is using him to find her sons because he cannot be bribed, he cannot be defeated in battle, uh, he cannot be charmed, and he most definitely cannot show mercy. So she um, is hoping that he will be able to do this for her in time for the ritual. So yeah, track five is uh, the first son, her eldest son. He doesn't succeed against the immortal, of course. Track six is um, her second eldest, maybe, and he is uh, basically a cult leader, kind of. He controls the religion within the realm. He is man-made god, almost. They worship him. He is more of a, of a sorcerer, though. He's very much like his mother. He, he spins webs with his words and you can't help but be intrigued by what he says and and want to listen and he, he, you just fall deeper and deeper under his spell basically so the immortal has to find the strength to sort of shut himself off from this guy so that he doesn't fall prey to his wiles but the immortal feels obliged to save these people that are kind of under the influence of this guy and, and he has no issue whatsoever with um, with taking this guy down because he's not a he's not a good person. He's uh, just kind of controlling these people and using them. So the song is about about him and about the immortal struggle against this sort of serpent tongue, this wizard of words. And uh, but of course again he succeeds and he is uh, no issue with bringing him back to his mother to be laid upon the altar. Track 6 is called False Walls because the this cult leader builds these walls that trap these people but they are they're not real, they're just an illusion but these people are kept here by, by him and he and this guy feels 
protected within these walls, but the immortal knows that they don't really exist and walks right through them. Track 7 is called 10,000 Against One. This is where he finds um, the matriarch's youngest son, who is the leader of her armies. Basically, he's, you know, the kind of uh, the commander in chief, and uh, he's the one that finds her in the music video. That's, this is that son, the youngest son, the leader of, of her armies. And he, uh, uses his entire army as a barrier between himself and the immortal because now both of his older brothers are dead he knows that he's coming the song begins with the immortal basically just walking through their camp and they don't even know that he's there um, and he's just kind of uh, thinking about the fact that they're all going to die the next day and uh, he pleads with them to lay down their arms so that uh, that doesn't happen, but inevitably, of course it does. And this whole army stands to fight and, uh, and they're just so blinded by the, the commander's charm and charisma, they don't even realize that they're laying down their lives for someone who is a coward himself. And um, so once again, the immortal has no issue whatsoever with taking him back to the matriarch to be um, sliced and diced. Um, he's it, 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 putting himself first constantly. He claims to be a leader, but he's really not. He's just hiding behind this wall of men and allowing them all to die in his place when just he could give himself up and save them all, but he, he doesn't. So the the sons of the matriarch are more like her than, than you think. And, at first, where perhaps you feel like you should be inspired to feel pity or um, you know think that maybe these guys don't deserve to die when they when absolutely they do. But then comes track eight, which is Earth and Ashes. <laughs> The Immortal has been searching for a while for this guy. He's basically left everything behind and it's kind of living out in the boons. And um, he's got a, a wife and child and he's given up the, the quest for power that his brothers have continued to strive for and just wants to live a simple life. Kind of helps the Immortal to open his eyes a little bit and. Um, realize that maybe he does have more control over his fate than he thinks but in this case there's nothing that he can do this guy's gonna die and he's gonna leave behind a son and 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 a wife and and the immortal is going to be the reason why and it's it's a huge conflict for him and it's just kind of cascading into this once again I've been forced to do this thing that I don't want to do it's kind of a, a sad moment for him when he realizes that there's nothing he can do that's song number eight and those are the four sons that uh, he has to find for the matriarch I guess I'll talk about track nine and ten in the next video so thanks again for listening watching um, if you want to hear more or you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below or message us on Facebook. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you at the next one.